Hey guys, today I'm going to be recreating some of American Girl Brand's Instagram photos. I have picked out a total of five photos to recreate and I'm so excited to get right into it because it is going to be so much fun. There has been a trend going around on YouTube where people try to recreate other people's Instagram photos, so I contacted American Girl a while back to ask if I could use their photos in my video and to try out this challenge and they said yes. So this definitely took a while to organize, but I'm so excited to get right into it, so let's get started. So as I said before, I will be trying to recreate a total of five different photos from American Girl Brand's Instagram page and I will be placing the photos in the corner of the video so you can see what it looks like to see what photo I'm trying to recreate and I'll also place it at the end to see if it was a success to see if I was able to try to recreate it. So here we have the first one. As you can see, there are a lot of tiny items involved. So I have the floor mat and I also have the skirt, the shoes, and the guitar as well. I've already set up Tenny stage, that's why I don't have it here, but hopefully I'm able to try and recreate it, so let's get right into it. So here we have Tenny stage all set up. I've already placed the floor mat down, and then here we have Tenny. So Tenny's wearing the meat outfit, so in the photo you can see the shoes and the skirt. You won't be able to see the shirt, and the last item that I need to place down is her guitar, and I need to make sure I have the strap facing the same way as the photo. So here we have the comparison between the photo that I took and the photo that American Girl Brand posted on their Instagram. I'm really happy with how this turned out and they do look pretty similar. I do have to say the main challenge is the lighting. As you can see, the lighting is not exactly the same. You can see American Girl Brand's photo has sunlight in there as well. Mine doesn't, but I still feel like the staging of the photo is pretty similar. So here we have the second photo I'm going to try and recreate and it is of Julie laying down in some grass and there's a lot of flowers around her. It is such a stunning photo so it is going to be pretty hard to try and recreate. I do actually have the outfit here. I have the top and it is so lovely and then we also have the denim skirt as well and some flowers on the side. So we have the headband that she's wearing and also a couple of flowers. Because it is the middle of summer here in Australia, everything is quite dry so it'll be quite tricky to find a lush green patch of grass and also some flowers so that's why I have some fake flowers here just in case. So let's go and try and recreate the photo. I managed to find some grass but as you can see there's no flowers around so I'm going to need to use the flowers that I brought so I just need to position Joy in the right place and take the photo. And here we have the second photo comparison. I'm really happy with how this photo turned out and it definitely looks like it's a lovely summer's day. And this is pretty similar with the lighting. I did have another problem with the lighting, as you can see, is a little bit different. It seems like American Girl Brand's photo has a little bit more of a glow compared to mine, but the doll's positioning with the flowers are pretty similar, so I'm really happy with how that turned out. It's now time to recreate photo number three. As you can see, you need a lot of pair of shoes. You can see it's in a half circle shape and then you have a doll in the middle wearing a pair of jeggings or leggings. I have the shoes and the jeggings laid out here. So that's pretty much everything I'll need for the photo except for the doll, of course. So on the top, I have these jeggings. They look pretty similar to the ones that are shown in the photo, which I'm pretty lucky about. And then I also have five pairs of shoes here. I managed to have four out of the five pairs of shoes except for the ones in the middle. I don't actually have those shoes, but I did manage to find ones that are pretty similar, so now it's time to try it out. So I have the doll here wearing the leggings. I just need to place them in the right position, and then I'll just need to make a half circle with all the shoes. So first off, I'll need to place the orange boots on the side, and then we have the really cute little purple boots that go after that. And then the middle shoes are the shoes that aren't exactly like the ones in the photo, but they look pretty similar enough. And then we have the pink slippers, and to finish off, we have the gold glittery boots. And here's the completed photo. As you can see, they do look pretty similar because I managed to have the same shoes in my collection. The challenging part, though, was the angle. I couldn't really get the angle right, but that's okay. I'm still really happy with the outcome and the photo, so now it's time to try out photo number four. 
And here we have the fourth photo we'll be trying to recreate. It is of Mary Ellen wearing her swimmers and she also has a couple of accessories. It looks like she's going to the pool or beach, which is really exciting. And it looks like it's another summer's day, which is really lucky for me because it's summer in Australia. But it's not nice and cloudy out, so I might need to take a photo of her next to a wall and then put pictures of clouds in the background to make it look more realistic. So it's going to be quite hard to try out, but let's get right into it. So as I said before, I won't be taking Mary Ellen out for this picture, so I just need to style it as similar as possible to the photo, and of course I need to include the sunglasses as well. And if you're wondering, here's the final photo in comparison to the photo that American Girl posted on their Instagram. And I'm actually really happy with my photo just because I didn't take a photo of Mary Ellen in front of clouds. I actually had to edit it and put the clouds behind her to make it look realistic. The most challenging part was trying to have her hold onto the flamingo bucket because it wouldn't stay and it kept falling. But it was definitely a lot of fun to try and recreate this particular photo here. And we are now up to the last photo, and for this one we will be needing a couple of Luciana's accessories. So we have her backpack, her space camp book, and a couple of other accessories as well. The tricky part will be trying to find a background similar to this, because I don't know if I do. But it'll be exciting to try out, so let's get right into it. So this is probably the closest background that I have to the photo, but now all I need to do is try and set it up and recreate it. So here we have the final comparison photo. As you can see, the main difference is the background. American Girl used more of a sky blue background, but mine is completely different. Unfortunately, it was the closest background that I could find, but I tried to situate the backpack as similar as possible, and I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So overall, I had so much fun trying to recreate American Girl's Instagram photos. It was definitely very challenging, but I had so much fun trying it out, and it definitely shows how much effort they put into their photos because they are amazing and definitely very tricky to recreate. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.